Yeah, this is one of those moments where I'm like, see, I need to make this hole here because I'm wanting to install this charging unit, which I'm afraid to say is shop board part of this um, to be able to charge better with the bicycle machine or with the bicycle generator. Yeah, and like now I'm, you know, working with this drill and with this saw and with a rasp and file and things. And yeah, it's quite slow to make this hole. Um, and I'm thinking sometimes like, yeah, I'm used to, you know, just use a power drill, right? Make two holes, connect them, boom, boom, with two tools. Uh, it's a thing of few minutes, like not even, you know, really less than a minute. And really beautiful edges it will be then and uh, well this can I can work I will work on these edges also but it's really interesting to see like the the question of the effort you know it feels like yeah it would be um, feels more effective to use the power tools well right I mean like I cannot use the power tools here unless they come here charged um, I need to charge them somewhere else but um, so simply because the power tools are not an option, I'm yeah, using the hand tools. And I'm thinking, yeah, if I had the power tools available, would I yet then use them? Probably I would, because there were moments where I had power tools available and had hand tools available for some jobs and then used the power tools. And it's really interesting to see because that's, I think, one of these where we can understand efficiency, right? If I make my own electricity, I think really twice about how to use my phone, how to use my headlamp, um, what for, right? Am I watching, um, I don't know, some 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 series, or or am I you know, writing something, or reading some books, like some articles or documentaries, or am I doing phone calls, right? That phone calls seem to take quite a little bit energy only, so. When the screen is not in use and and now with this with the hand tools yeah for sure i will value the hole that i make there a lot more once it's ready and also i'm wondering like it really makes you think like so where does the energy come from so if i use a power tool the energy will come from somewhere i now have a pretty pretty good understanding of how much power it would need how much work it would be if I would want to create that energy by food or turn energy food energy into the electric energy in a drill or a saw or something and then of course the resources for producing those tools need to come from somewhere and like this is not an assumption you know it's like something that is like easy to know it's easy to see that the human power, the direct power, is the more like energy efficient because there are no losses. You know, there are like no losses on the way, and there's like no mining of additional resources needed if you use like secondhand tools. And I think this is like really interesting because this is, in my opinion, the scale we have to think. This is the the size of life style change that makes a lot of sense to think about. To to reduce life to um, muscle power. Um, this, yeah, so the question like, what about solar power? So I could just buy a nice solar panel, big one, uh, buy a battery bank, and then I could have my power tools off grid. Yeah, it's one thing to be off grid, it's one thing to be sustainable. So off grid doesn't mean sustainable, CO2 neutral doesn't mean sustainable, because the the energy for and resources for building all these like solar panels and uh, the batteries needs to come from somewhere and it's it's something that i've read before and it's like still astonishing to me and i you know it's almost unbelievable i would like to get numbers on that really again um, apparently the embedded energy of for producing a battery is more than the energy that you can create in three years of cycling like or within the lifetime of the battery like if you every day cycle 100 watt uh with, with a human power generator um if you cycle every day one hour 
and you know, average human can make 100 watt about, then then the energy that you create until the battery needs to be replaced because it comes to the end of its lifetime with its charging and discharging cycles, it will be less energy than was needed to build the, the, build the battery. So, uh, hikilisatio is a Finnish word by a Finnish thinker, um, which um, I had the pleasure to meet, and I forgot the name! <laughs> who, who came up with hikilisatio? If you know it, please put it in the comments below. Um, yeah, or hikilization. Uh, it means like sweat, sweatilization. So it's like and it makes so much sense, right? This is where we came from. This is how it always worked. Um, and now I'm sitting here whole morning working on, you know, building this electricity generator. And electricity is not a survival priority, right? That's like so absurd. I should be outside, you know, it's a beautiful day outside and it's, uh, I should be making firewood. I should be, you know, tracking, uh, just doing something more meaningful. And now I'm sitting here uh, do something that seems meaningful to me and then I can create my own electricity independent from like my old solar panels and, and then I can use this electricity to I don't know use the phone right um, be in the internet um, do research connect with people that are far away right like why to connect why to spend this effort to connect with people who are so far away that they cannot be a meaningful connection anyway or can there be um yeah a lot of thoughts go through my head um regarding this like what is the meaning of what the purpose the how can it be justified right and then I, i'll be sitting here making electricity and then i can earn some money and then i can buy some firewood and i don't have to make it myself right <laughs> so very interesting, very interesting. Just wanted to share these thoughts with you and observations and just throw them out there. Um, let me know what you think. And um, I will go back to this one here. Have a good time. Bye bye.